Hello, everybody from the Bush here. Back with another video. Today we have the FNAF AR full, not full, but like the commons plus Walmart exclusive review. I was supposed to do this six months ago, or at least roughly six months ago, because like Liberty Chica came out, and like I could have done that when she came out, but you know, stuff came out. So, other than that, I was supposed to do this ages ago, and I didn't do it. And sorry for being gone so long, too. Like, it's been, like, technically a week since my last video. Technically two weeks, if you want to consider it my last, FNAF, latest FNAF video. But other than that, I'll do, be doing many reviews on this afterwards. I don't know if I'm going to make them in short form format, or just, like, you know, my older style format. I'm probably going to do the older style format that I used to do on my old channel. But yeah, other than that, this one is the in-depth review, so without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, future fun time here, so originally in that first clip I said I was going to review like the commons, I'll do that in another video probably tomorrow or the next day. So, other than that, now let's get back to the video. Alright, so starting off with Livewire Freddy's tag, as you can see it's just the same common tag that's on the Hot Topic exclusives in the commons. I'm only going to go over his tag once because like we're, we're all the same except this one has a one more exclusive print on here. Five Nights Freddy's plushies. The back of it. Legal information. Zero plus. Alright, now with the body of the animatronic. No, anim yeah, animatronic, but the plushie. He's made with his Phantom Foxy material. I think it's printed because... I don't know if this is printed or is it just a material, but there's some white spots in here. So I don't know if it's like printed or not. I have no clue, but he does have a yellow rimming like Radioactive Foxy and all the others. Most of the others, I should say, because Shamrock Freddy and Chiga, Liberty Chiga do not have it. But yeah, two, ha two half buttons printed on. Nice black bow tie, but unfortunately it's printed on. Yellow outline on both. Nice stubby, you know, legs and paws. Let's get it all into his head. All right, so with the head of a plush, as you can see here, you have all these like engravings. Oh, not engravings. You have all these. You have the electricity or veins or whatever they are embroidered on. He has brown ears with a yellow outline. Red top hat that's kind of made this like the bottom half is like this more stronger material where it's not as flappy soft but it's also not as thick as you know the top but yeah no nose is embroidered on you'll see that in my next review probably today his eyes are just a solid white color I don't know if this is like stained or anything because I bought this at Walmart he has black cheeks with the yellow outline free freckles outlined in yellow and the smile outlined in yellow and the muzzle slightly outlined in yellow, but it's just a little in indent right there that's indent outlined. On the back, nothing on the back besides... Nothing on the back besides a tush tag. These are probably going to be all the same, but like, it says 2022 Scott Coffin, all rights reserved. Legal information, all that crap. UK, Canada. Alright, so how would I rate this plushie out of 10? I'd say about a... 6 out of 10, 5 out of 10, 6 if I'm being generous, but like this plush isn't really that good in my opinion, there's so many printing errors on it, at least on my copy you can see some light on it, but yeah, 6 out of 10, would I recommend it? Not really, honestly, unless you're a completionist like me, well mostly completionist, I don't have the jumbos yet, most of the jumbos, like the older ones. But yeah, I would, like, if you're a collector, I would highly recommend this, but, like, if you're not, like, I, w I would say don't even bother with this one. I'd say get Shamrock Freddy and Liberty Chica. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. Alright, next up we have is Shamrock Freddy. Alright, so starting off with Shamrock Freddy's tag, it has this nice green 
four leaf clover shamrock stuff it, has, it says only at walmart and it literally looks like there's a rip thing right there where you just rip it or it's just like bent i can't tell five nights of various plushies with an far special delivery collectible plush funko here is the back legal information in the back of that all right now with the body of the plush this like, I'm gonna get this right out of the way. It's just the same average plush base besides this one. It has a little misshapen arm right here for some reason. But yeah. His, his bow tie is completely new in this new color and new material. I think it's new material, but it could be reused shiny material. Kind of looks like Phantom Foxy's color, you know, as, you know, base of the plush essentially. He has his gold chain printed on, torso printed on. I think the legs are non-printed, but I'm not entirely sure. He has the free freckles on his head, muzzle, whatever. He has his nose. His eyes are like the pizzeria simulator ones. He has oddly like shaped like pig patch ears. Like they're, they kind of point more, like they point more instead of like, you know, being round. He has his top hat with the shamrock on it, or a four-leaf clover. He has a buckle on it printed on with, you know, the strap printed on too. I think what this is, the little lighter yellow part, I think that's a shine. And be careful with the shamrock, it might fall off over time. And here is the back of the plush. I don't care what quality this is, I just want to get this done over with because it's already been, because a lot of people have reviewed these and I don't want to like, you know, add on to that. Alright, so how would I rate this plush out of 10? 8 out of 10. Solid plush. It's really good. If you're a collector, or if you're just a casual fan, I'd say get it, honestly. Because, like, it's not bad plush, honestly. It looks really, really good. It's perfect for the March season. Whenever that comes. But, yeah. Amazing plush. Except a few printed details. But other than that, let's move on to Liberty Chica. Alright, so I'm going to get these reviewed, like, quicker than usual. If that wasn't obvious. Um, here is Liberty Chica's tag, Five Nights at Freddy's, Special Delivery, FNAF AR Special Delivery, Funko's in red, you got the 4th of July fireworks in red, white, and blue, collectible plush, Funko plush, she's only at Walmart. Alright, so her head is the Toy Chica base, or like something like similar to that, I think it's the AR Chica base. This is dirty, damn. Okay, whatever, sorry. Um, so yeah. Cupcake, completely printed. Unfortunate, it's a very flimsy piece too, so be careful with this if you do buy it. Red eyes, and it's a cute cupcake, honestly. It's just like, unfortunately, it's printed on instead of being 3D like the Sanshi ones. Like, you can see how flat that is. It sh at least it should have been like, at least add another layer right here for the cupcake and the plate. Then I would say that would have been fine. Then you have this, you know, board made out of, like, felt, July 4th in 1987 or something like that. 1984? I don't know. Her torso is printed on, unfortunately, which I'm not complaining too, too much because, like, it gets all the accurate details across, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's just, you know, like, there's no actual, like, 3D details, but, like, like, if they were to do something 3D, I would say you do this, like, this part right here where it goes over the shoulder and keep everything else printed, except for, you know, like, the, the, you know, like, what's printed on right now. Well, not printed, but embroidered and stuff. Her beak is like the Toy Chica beak, or just Chica beaks in general, except for the original. She has her eyelashes, her green eyes, you know, all that eye stuff with the part. No, green eye, iris, and all that stuff. Her eyebrows are embroidered on. Her eyelashes are embroidered too. Her crown is a one piece again. Just like this. Just printed with all the 4th of July stuff on there. It's just your liberty, whatever. But yeah. Really detailed plush. Just kind of underutilized, I'd say. But yeah, here's a quick 360. Then we'll rate it. Alright, so how would I rate this plush out of 10? I'd say about a six or seven ounces. It's a 
it's a decent plush, don't get me wrong. There's just too many, like, flat details. I'm okay with the dress being printed. But I wish the cupcake was a little bit more three-dimensional. And her crown had a little bit more definition. Like, you know, like, not flat. But other than that, it's a pretty good plush. I would highly recommend it. Because, like, I don't know how long these are going to get stored anymore. Because the next wave is about to come out. Maybe. Next year. Sometime in February, probably. Or earlier. But, yeah. Let's move on. Alright, everyone. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you want to. And, yeah, bye.